Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Roman Swarovski, and I'm responsible for Cloud Founder Services at GrapeUp, where we do cloud-native uh, application development um, and also provide professional services around Cloud Foundry platform. Um, today, I would like you all to take a slightly different um, look or wider look at Cloud Foundry as a platform and its capabilities. Um, where we talk to our customers about Cloud Foundry, they are, of course, impressed and uh, overwhelmed uh, about its capabilities. And once they calm down, they usually ask this question, what is it actually for? Uh, what applications can I can run on it? Uh, what systems can I run on it? Uh, well, the, the answer is, well, you can do anything. Uh, of course, there are certain types of applications that uh, run out of the box. Uh, within the Cloud Foundry. Uh, the first one is web applications. Uh, well, those are 12 uh, factor apps, stateless, scalable. Um, technology doesn't really matter here if it's uh, Java, if it's Node, Ruby, we got them all covered, right? But uh, the limitation of web applications is that they support only HTTP traffic. So there came this uh, group of brilliant guys from TCP routing team. And they've added non-HTTP application support in Cloud Foundry. They have added TCP routing, uh, therefore making it uh, available and then capable of handling, for instance, IoT solutions, where you have a network of sensors uh, communicating with the platform over TCP sockets and providing um, their, their data. So with the, those two types of applications, we have a bunch of use cases and scenarios covered. But uh, can we go further? So this was the question we were asking ourselves at GrapeUp. Uh, as I mentioned, we do mostly cloud-native development, but we also have a vast experience with building um, VoIP and UC solutions. So we were wondering, can we somehow combine those two areas of expertise and use Cloud Foundry uh, as a platform to build a VoIP solution, for instance? So after initial research, uh, the answer seemed to be, OK, well, we can do this, but we are missing one major part. We need UDP routing, because VoIP uses UDP for, uh, for media transport in the first place. So uh, we decided to go for a POC and prepare a POC. And uh, we tried to add UDP support to, to Cloud Foundry using existing TCP routing uh, component. Uh, basically, what we did uh, was we created an extensible load balancer interface, and we used two different types of proxies for handling different types of uh, traffic. We used HAP proxy existing within Cloud Foundry to support, uh, to handle HTTP traffic. Uh, but we added uh, additional component. We used a pen proxy to, uh, to handle uh, TCP and UDP routing. Uh, on the way, al alongside, uh, we, we had to rebuild or um, redo, modify slightly uh, some other components. Like, uh, for instance, we, we've created CF router in place of TCP router and CF emitter in place of TCP emitter just to add this, this UDP support. But the, the real point here is that we managed actually to uh, use Cloud Foundry as a backend, very simple backend um, for um, uh, WebRTC application, WebRTC client. So we took uh, a turn server, which is a media relaying server. Uh, we deployed in Diego, and we were able to make a video call uh, using Cloud Foundry as a backend for this kind of, uh, of simple application. Of course, this is not like a produc production grade solution. So this was just a POC to check if it's possible to, to use Cloud Foundry for this kind of uh, applications. There's a long road ahead. Uh, but it confirms and it, and it shows totally new possibilities uh, ahead. So just to name a few, uh, we have all applications and solutions using SIP stack, right? SIP is a controlling layer uh, or a signaling layer. Uh, we have media relaying servers and media streaming servers, which again use RTP uh, for media transport. And of course, uh, we have uh, WebRTC infrastructure. This is what we did, actually. But uh, we could also tell that um, 
this could be uh, applied to also IoT solutions where we need UDP-based transport rather than TCP-based transport. Anyway, this, of course, is a very brief overview of what we uh, managed to do with, with UDP and, and Cloud Foundry. Uh, if you're interested, I'll be glad, me and my team, to, to answer, uh, give you more details. So please come over to our booth. And uh, thank you very much for your attention. And have a great welcome reception tonight. Thank you.